What is up guys, Rampana1 here and welcome to today's video. Quick note about the gameplay before we begin, this is actually a high round ascension gameplay and I probably could have gone on a lot longer. Uh, the reason I started this ascension gameplay was because I had a day off work and then halfway through the day work called me and they said you need to come in now. So I had to end the game where it was. So as a bit of a disappointment, I could have gone on a lot not longer. But anyway, it's pretty decent gameplay as it stands. So, as for today's topic, we are again talking about some Xbox 720 versus PS4 stuff. And this time we're talking about online subscriptions. Now, I did one the other day where we talked about console exclusive games. Uh, a lot of people seem to enjoy it. If you want to check that out, I'll put it in the description below. And like I said, a lot of people enjoyed it, so I thought I'd make another one. Talking about something else, and I got a couple of ideas for more Xbox 720 versus PS4 videos. So if there's something you like and you guys want to see it, I'll keep doing them. So, online subscriptions. Currently, right now, we only have, I believe, one platform that charges for online subscriptions, and that's Xbox 720. The PS3 doesn't do it, pretty sure Wii doesn't do it, and I'm pretty sure Steam, or the PC world, doesn't have online subscriptions. Of course, I think World of Warcraft and RuneScape did, but they all offer free-to-play versions as well, I believe. Don't quote me on that. So, but online, online subscription really only exists from what I know on the Xbox and I think it's I think it's a fair price to pay I mean it's in the UK it's 40 pound a year that's like 60 60 dollars in the US I believe and then whatever it is for the rest of you around the world uh, but I think it's good we get constant updates we they add new things we get a new uh, style of dashboard every year I believe we went from that old like blue one then it updated and it was nice, clean and white. I, it felt really weird, especially to me when uh, the update first updated, or the dashboard first updated. Sorry, and it went away from the blue and it went to the white, and it was, it was a lot cleaner, but it was, like I said, a little weird to get used to. So, I can see why we play an online subscription. And then take a look on the other side, the PS3, where you don't pay an online subscription. The shape over there and how things what it looks like and stuff is not good now I'm not a I mainly play Xbox but I'm not a fan by the Xbox that's the reason I'm getting both consoles here in uh, the end of the year I have the PS3 and for those you huge PS3 uh, fans or fanboys whatever you want to say you must you must admit that that dashboard that layout is pretty poor it's the same it's been the same thing since release Maybe an update here or there to make it, I don't know, run a little bit smoother. But as it stands, it doesn't run smooth at all if you're... I remember I was hosting some sort of, like, uh, online game or something. And oh, 10 messages, does 10 messages was, like, slowing the PS3 down, making it so I couldn't get out of the messages. And if you... There's an option where you can delete all your messages, which I like, and I think the Xbox could have something like that but if you use it on the PS3 you better take an hour or two out of your time to uh, delete all those messages because going through and deleting all of them it takes a long ass time and I think if the PS3 were to charge a monthly subscription or a yearly subscription with that current dashboard and what it's been like since launch I think there would be a lot of pissed off people Especially since the Xbox charges and it's very good. If the PS3 was to charge and it was that bad, there'd be a lot of problems. So, talking about the next-gen consoles, Xbox 720 and the PS4, I think we could see, and I think we're going to see both sides charging a monthly subscription because it makes sense. It motivates them to do a uh, a better display, give us a better dashboard. It will probably keep the money that you pay for it will probably go towards maintaining and. Uh, maintenance for that dashboard so I th I'm pretty sure we're gonna see the PS4 take a note out of Xbox book and start charging an online subscription I know a lot of people have been saying oh you can't take what people are used to and just change that drastically you're not used to paying an online subscription for the PS4 you're not used to not paying an online subscription on the PS4 although it's still a PlayStation the PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation 3 are going to be two different consoles, so you can say that you're not used to paying for the PlayStation, but like I said, it's a different console, and if you want to 
remain free and you don't want to pay and you want you're willing not to pay for a poorer dashboard then you can probably stay on PS3 for a number of number a number of years uh, after the PS4 and the Xbox 720's uh, launch so as far as question goes for this video are you guys okay with paying a monthly subscription for your Xbox as well as games and stuff like that do you think it benefits it do you do you think it should be less? Do you think it should be more? Would you be willing to pay a little bit more than the £40, $60 a year? Let me know. Just let me know what you think of the online subscription system for the Xbox, PS3, whatever. What do you think of that whole system as a whole? Also, if you enjoyed the video, remember to give it a like, Ryan, and subscribe for more videos. Again, guys, this is Ryan Panel 1, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.